My name is Amr Azim. I'm a reproductive endocrinologist uh, at New York City IVF. If you've been trying to conceive for a while and you uh, did not get pregnant and you're interested in further uh, exploring your options uh, and uh, you, your level of fertility uh, and uh, the, the, the initial step of course is to select a reproductive endocrinologist uh, and the reproductive endocrinologist will perform uh, some tests. The most important test is a very good history. So a good history uh, by your physician would indicate what are the risk factors and what are the problems that can reduce your fertility. Uh, and this is also followed by an examination uh, for any physical abnormalities uh, and an ultrasound to uh, uh, in, uh, investigate the, the, the uh, abnormalities in the uterus and, and the ovaries as well as the number of small enteral follicles that are present inside the ovary and that is a strong indicator of your ovarian reserve and the function of the ovary. Um, subsequent steps would be to test whether the fallopian tubes are open and uh, this test is performed through injecting of a, a radiologic dye uh, into the uterus and uh, if the fallopian tubes are open, they would escape into the fallopian tube and taking an x-ray would indicate the spill of the dye into the peritoneal cavity. Um, and uh, the other test that is really important is um, uh, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the, the number, the number uh, movement and uh, uh, shape of sperm. Uh, so your partner would need to perform a sperm analysis. Uh, and that would indicate the fertilization ability of sperm. And um, a, a group of, uh, of tests that are not related uh, to your ability to get pregnant, but to the safety of getting pregnant are also needed. Uh, and uh, these include uh, infectious diseases as hepatitis B and C uh, and uh, uh, genetic screening uh, uh, for uh, um, the common genetic problems uh, and uh, genetic problems in, in your ethnicity um, uh, and uh, we usually uh, screen one of the partners and if that partner carries a genetic issue then we screen the other partner aiming at identifying uh, the risk of transmission of a genetic disease to the baby. Uh, all this could be accomplished actually within a few days.